Hello everyone, we meet again. Now I'm in the testing labor of Dongcheng Company. To ensure the product quality is reliable, we are going to do plenty of testing. You will find kinds of product testing procedures. Let's have a look. Hello, Mr. Dai. Hello, Daniel. Welcome to Dongchen Testing Lab. What kind of testing can we do in this lab? In Dongchen Lab, we can proceed five kinds of testing. They are electronic testing, safety standards testing, EMC testing, roles, and performance reliability testing. Let's have a look at the lab. This is the electronic testing room. We test all lithium ion battery cells, battery packs, and battery chargers. We all know the safety of battery is very important. Yes, so the testing standard covers IEC standard, GB standard, and UN38.3 specification of transportation safety. Regarding to transportation safety, I think of every time when I'm in the airport, there is very strict checking for lithium battery. Yes, we have a full of testing process for UN38.3 specification of transportation safety, such as a vibration, acceleration impact, short circuit extrusion impact, and low air pressure testing, and so on. By this kind of testing, we ensure the battery pack is safe and will not ignite and explode. What's this in the computer? It looks like a stock market chart. It's battery park cycle life testing. What are those in the components? These are battery packs and those are battery cells. They will be tested for at least 300 cycles. What are the two engineers doing? The first engineer is measuring temperature rise for battery chargers parts. The second engineer is checking construction of a transformer. There are more than 30 testing projects for charger and more than 40 testing projects for battery. Pass this testing, we ensure battery and the charger are safe and reliable. It's very meticulous. Yes, let's see safety testing. The logo looks very familiar. I have seen it before. This is the TUV SUD authorization for our lab. We have been approved by CNUS. Our lab also gets the authorization of CQC standard accredited test laboratory. We are approved by some authorities. We can operate witness tests in our lab after through this laboratory accreditation. Daniel, let's go upstairs. This is the whole floor used for testing. This is temperature rise testing room. What we are seeing is a temperature rise test of the safety regulation project. Yes, by this imported precision instrument, we are proceeding temperature rise testing. At the same time, characteristic testing the amateur's and the stator's performance. There are other testing items besides this one. Let's have a look. Now, here is the material testing room. What's the red one? It's a fire retardant test for insulation material. The testing temperature is around 850 centigrade. So high, 850 degrees. Yes, 
Under this condition, we will check insulation material whether it fires or not. This is a very important test of safety standard. Any other testing items? Next, let's check EMC's testing. Okay, let's go. Here is an EMC immunity test room. Why do we do immunity test? Products are designed with an electronic circuit at this present. Their ability to interfere with the environment must be tested to ensure their normal function. She's doing electrostatic discharger to battery charger. The testing voltage is 15 kV. Such a high voltage? Yes, to ensure charger works well under this condition. Let's see the fourth type of testing rules. Okay. Here is Rose testing room. She is measuring content of a harmful substance. Is this test by the instrument like a printer? Yes, checking every component. The computer shows testing date. What are the components on the table? The rows test is applied for each component of a power tool. You mean if each component of Dongzhen power tools exceeds a limited value, then the product is unqualified? Yes, we will judge by different standards of different countries and regions. Wow, that's very strict. Yes, we have seen four kinds of testing. 